Growing up in the inner city of Chicago, in the hood, you're told that boys do this. <laughs> boys play football. Boys play basketball. Boys play baseball. Boys date girls. Whatever the case may be. My you're told mom. this is what you do. Right? So, I'm no different. I'm raised that way. I'm in the locker room. I say all the things that everyone is saying. I'm not sitting up here like I have never done or said anything, right, when it comes against the opposite sex because I was ignorant and I didn't understand. Right. So when, it hit, when it hit my doorstep at three years old, like I said, when me and my wife looked at each other, right, and the reason we looked at each other is because of this, you know, as kids, I used to put on heels. I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, whatever my sisters did, I try to do those things. So at first I said to myself, oh, no, I did that. So I was just doing the things that I did. And then it kept going further and further. And then me and my wife had to look at each other and say, well, well what if? And at that moment, everything that I was taught went out the window because now I'm a parent. And my only, my sole job and my sole responsibility is to make sure that this kid grow up knowing that it's supported and is loved by his father and the other parent, right? That's my only job. And so when it came down to Zaya, at three years old, I looked at it and said, okay, D, I looked in the mirror. And now, not only did I look in the mirror, when I went in the locker room, I started changing the way I talked. I started changing how I listened mm -hmm. to things, and I started challenging people in a different way. Once I started to ask questions to my, my wife friends, because I've never been, God, I, I've never been, at that time, I've never been, no one is in the NBA or played basketball has never been openly gay. Right, right. I've never had right. a conversation with even anybody in our locker room. openly in our locker room. So I never, I was ignorant when it comes to this space. So when my child came home at eight years old, we were living in Chicago at the time. I thought I left Miami, which we talked about. My child came home. And the reason my, my child didn't come home, it was an assignment that was done at school. An assignment at school would say, tell me about yourself. And this was the time where Zaya took the time to say, I'm black, I'm this, I'm this, and I'm gay. At the time, Zaya said, I am gay. So the teacher called at eight home. Years old. At eight years old. The teacher called home and said, hey, I just want you guys to know we post these all over the school, but we didn't want to post this if you guys didn't blah, blah, blah. Right? So we sat down with the teacher and talked about the teacher at that time was a gay female. Okay. Gave Zion the confidence. That's a blessing. To be able to say those words. Yeah. So when we sat down and, it was a, and I was in the room across the way, I had prepared myself for five years. For that moment, not knowing what I was going to do or say, when, when Zayek sat down with me and was across the way, just like me and you are right now, Ryan, I look at, I'm looking at my child. I don't, I don't care about anything else. I'm looking at my child, and I'm looking at my responsibilities. I'm looking at a child that's crying, that's afraid to tell their father wow. that they're different than what you probably thought I was, Dad. I don't want to play basketball. I'm, I don't, sorry, I don't even want to be, I'm not a boy. I feel that I am X, Y, and Z, right? I'm looking at my child, scared to tell me. And I feel like I am pretty open at this time. Right. I realized that I needed to do better and I needed to do more and I needed to educate myself. And so what I did is I picked up the phone. I researched as much as I can because I needed to understand. I sat down with my, my child and I asked questions because I didn't know. Because it's not, it's, not, it's not our job and our responsibility to tell you who you are. You are going to be who you're going to be. It's my job to try to put you in the best positions to help you reach that that goal of who you want to be. But it's my, not my job to tell you. Right. You know what I mean? And right now, we're experiencing that with Zai.